11 for you. The Biden administration wants two thirds of all vehicles electric by 2032. But there was a report today that nearly 4,000 dealerships across the country are urging the president to slow down that push. In fact, according to Automotive News, nearly 130 auto dealerships in Ohio and more than 200 in Michigan sent a letter saying so to the White House. Our Andre Norrells, he's been following this story today and he joins us now live with local reaction. Andre? Well, Jeff, GM has put billions of dollars into developing EVs, including in Defiance and here at GM Toledo Proportion Systems. But the story tonight is that thousands of car dealerships are saying consumers aren't interested. Joe Mailing is the executive manager at Dave White Chevy in Sylvania, and he's been in the business for decades, a business that's definitely changing. And it's just kind of, you know, all coming to a head here in the last two years more than any time in my career. But it's not a change he necessarily likes. He says he wasn't a part of that letter that went to President Biden begging for a pause on the EV push, but says he agrees with other car dealerships. I think we're moving too fast. I think we're, you know, we're, we're jumping in with both feet on something that maybe the uh, public isn't ready for. Mailing says the dealership had to make many changes to prepare for electric vehicles. We're in a position now where we're well ahead of what the consumer demand is. Meaning many people aren't buying them, and he says that may be because they can't afford them. We don't know what the consumers are willing to spend for a vehicle like that. So how much are electric vehicles? Let's use the 2024 Chevy Blazer as an example. Mailing says at his location, they sell the electric version for $61,000 and the traditional gas equivalent, same equipment, for $10,000 less. But like we mentioned, GM has pumped millions into Toledo GM Propulsion Systems plant, most recently in 2022, with the high-profile $760 million investment for retooling the Toledo plant. UAW Local 14 President Tony Toddy thinks EV prices will go down over time as more are made. And he says there are a lot of benefits to the new technology. The slowing down of climate change, it's a real thing. Uh, air quality will be better with these things. Uh, we'll be burning less fossil fuels. He thinks electric vehicles are the future and will be made regardless, hoping car dealerships get on board. When these corporations put this much money and the, cor and the country puts this much money into the infrastructure, uh, it's going to take place whether somebody writes a letter.